into a let's come into a wide leg child to begin so let's bring those big toes together knees wide and let's just slide those arms out long melting that forehead down to your mat awesome awesome so just coming into some light movement here maybe in the hips so just getting a little sway side to side just getting some movement here in the hips and today's practice is all about coming into that energy that playful energizing very yang style masculine power kind of energy and then we're going to flip the script a little bit and come into a little bit of yin kind of fusion at the end of this practice so as we kind of start to arrive into this space, just asking yourself where you can have more play in your mind, in your body, maybe in your movement, just all of these things, just having that really pull your attention here in your practice today. And we'll just take a deep breath together as we inhale here and exhale out the mouth let it go and let's just slowly walk those hands over to the right side starting to just feel that opening down left side body Option to walk those fingertips a little bit further if you want that deeper expression here down at the side body, getting deeper into that space. And walking those hands back through center and over to left side, starting to feel that opening down left side body. And starting to walk those hands back through center now. Let's start by coming into those wide leg spinal flows. So spreading through the fingers, grounding down to the palms. And as we inhale, snaking that spine over to your tabletop variation. And exhale, arching through the spine, lifting up through those shoulders and collarbones, sinking those hips back to the heels. Good, good, good. Inhale and snaking that spine over to your tabletop variation. And exhaling, arching through the spine, sinking back in those hips. One more time here. Inhale, snaking that spine over to your tabletop variation. And exhale, arching that spine back, sinking those hips down to the heels, back to your wide leg child. And just do a little quick check-in with yourself and notice if you are potentially able, after those spinal rolls and opening up through that hip space a little bit, if you're able to sink those hips a little bit deeper in your child. We're really early on in the practice, so if you can't, that's totally fine, but just kind of creating that awareness in the hip opening as we start to really take into this movement here and let's slowly walk those hands back to the knees and we're just going to come into our hip openers here so left palm comes up overhead and reaches behind you planting that left palm underneath left shoulder here as we inhale sweeping the hips high sweeping the right arm high shifting the gaze up to those right fingertips and exhale coming back through center and switching sides right palm plants down as we inhale sweeping left arm up overhead sweeping those hips forward and exhaling through center just taking a few more of these in your own breath timing here inhales you sweep those hips high getting that opening through the chest the hips the heart space and exhaling through center Beautiful, beautiful. And we'll take one more each side here. Mmm, yes. Feels so good. In the opening through the arms and the shoulders. 
in. Let's slowly come back through center now. And we're gonna bring those wrists down to the shoulders, knees under hips, tucking under the toes. And we're just gonna come to inhale here, staying nice and grounded in the knees. And exhale, coming to hover those knees off the mat. And as we inhale, thread the heart back to the thighs, deep bend here. And exhaling, straightening out through the legs, arriving in your first downward facing dog of your practice here. Noticing how good that down dog feels. The first one of the practice, that opening through the hamstrings and the back body. Starting to take this pedal out here of the feet. So inhaling as one knee pulls in, exhaling opposite knee pulls in, pedaling all the way out through the toes here. Good, good, good. And coming back to find stillness here. We're gonna bring the feet together and shift those feet over to the left side, taking a deep bend through the knee, maybe even coming down to the left elbow if you want a deeper stretch. Often just stay up on both arms as well, but often to bring it down to left elbow and really expanding that stretch down the right side body. So really funky kind of variation here. So again, feet together, bending through the knees, sinking the chest back towards those thighs. Option to bring it down to left elbow or keep left arm straight. And you can even come to shift the gaze over that right shoulder. And we'll bring it back through center, switching over to opposite side. So again, feet together here, walking left foot to meet right, over on the right corner of the mat, bending through the knees, threading the heart towards those thighs an option to bring the right elbow down, expanding that stretch down the left side body. Option to shift the gaze underneath that left shoulder. Good. And we'll bring it back through center, back to your downward facing dog. We'll take a little bit of a flow here. As we inhale, snaking that spine over to your high plank. Exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, snaking that spine over, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, snaking that spine over, high plank. Exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Good, good, good. Coming to thread the heart back to the thighs, deep bend here, not as deep, as it is when you're flowing right back from that bear stance, but deep-ish, medium deep bend. Let's say that, medium deep, I like that. <laughs> A medium deep bend. And then straightening out through the legs, pulling those heels back down towards the mat. Awesome, we're gonna take a little flow, really nice and quick through our sun south A, and then we'll get into some funky flow series and then start to chill it out with some yin. So looking to the top of the mat, bending through the knee, step, jump, or hop up to those fingertips. Awesome. So we're at the top of your mat here. Let's inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rising all the way up through center. And exhaling, hands through heart center. Inhale, arms rise. Exhaling, swine dive forward, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, place the palms, step or back to place it, jump it, hop it, whatever words are, back to your high plank, and then flow it back downward facing dog. We're gonna go two more times just like that. Inhale here through the nose. Exhale out the mouth, let it go. That's okay. Looking to the top of the mat, now we're here. Bending through the knees, step, jump, or hop up to those fingertips. As you inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, arms rise. And exhale, hands through heart center. Inhaling, arms rise. Exhale, swan dive forward, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, place the palms, step or hop back to that high plank, and then flow it straight back, pull the tailbone high, downward facing dog. Big inhale here. Exhale, let it go, open mouth. 
looking to the top of the mat, bending through the knee, step jumper, hop up to those fingertips. As you inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise all the way up to standing. And exhale, hands through heart center. Last sun cell here. And then we're gonna get funky and crazy with our vinyasa. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, swan dive forward, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, place the palms, step or hop it back to your high plank. Always listening to your body. Maybe the hop feels good, maybe the step feels good. And exhale, fly it back, downward facing dog. Big inhale here. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, sweeping right leg high. Exhale, bending through the knee, opening up through the hip here. Taking an extra cycle of breath to create this opening through the hip flexor and the quad. Inhale here. And as we exhale, re-extend the leg, point to the toes. And with the next inhale, we're gonna bring that right foot forward all the way through, opening right up to your high lunge. Good, good, good. So front knee stacked over ankle, and then we're just gonna take a forward lean here, bringing that front body, the chest and the core parallel to the front thigh, coming into your crescent lunge. Still up on the ball of the feet here on that back leg, but really, really shifting the weight into the front foot. So you can almost feel like you could come just on the tip of your toes here without falling over. And then we're gonna pull it up to your warrior three. So keeping those hips nice and square to the mat, pointing to the back toe. Awesome, awesome. Good, inhale here in your warrior three. Exhale, cactusing out those arms to the sides. <sighs> inhale, we're gonna pull that left knee nice and slow and controlled to that left elbow. And exhale, open it back up, warrior three. Extend those arms out long, extend the leg back out long. Awesome, awesome. And then we're gonna pull those right fingertips down towards the mat. So right fingertips sweep down. Again, flexing through that left foot to really emphasize that squaring of the hips down towards the mat. And then sweeping left arm up into the air. Option, if it's available for you in the balance, to shift the gaze up towards those left fingertips. Good, good, good. Inhale here. And as you exhale, shifting those left fingertips down and shifting the right fingertips up into the air. Option to shift the gaze up towards those right fingertips. Again, if it is available for you, option to bring your fingertips to a block here to bring the earth up to you a little bit. And clearly my balance is a little bit wonky today. That's okay. Good. And then we're gonna take a slight bend through the right leg, bring that left knee to tap the back of the right quad here, pointing to that left toe again. Yes, super strong. And then we're gonna bring both sets of fingertips to plant towards the mat. And then we're gonna sweep the left leg high, coming into your standing split. One last movement here. You got this. Leg is swept high. Both sets of palms are facing down, planted on the mat, an option to bend through the left knee, pulling that left heel towards the right glute, and then reaching up around with the right arm, trying to grab that left foot. Again, just an option. Option to stay in your standing split. Option to stay just with the bent knee here. So lots of options available, keeping a slight bend through the right knee. And then we're gonna re-extend that left leg, taking a slow step back, Bending through the front knee to your high lunge, balancing the ball of that left foot. Holy moly, that was beastly. My right quad is on fire. And then we're gonna come down, framing the front foot, step it back to that high plank, and then flew it right back to your beautiful, beautiful downward facing dog that probably never felt so good ever. Oh my gosh, that was a beastly flow. And now we get to do it on our beautiful left side that we have. But let's just take a few moments of stillness here. Connect back into breath, connect back into the body. So big inhaling here through the nose. 
and exhale out the mouth, let it go. Inhale here. Exhale, let it go. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale as we sweep that left leg high, bending through the knee, bring that left heel to your right glute, re-extending the left leg, and then stepping it through to your high lunge, sweeping those arms high, relax through the shoulders. Good. And then we're gonna lean it forward so the chest and the core parallel to the front thigh coming into that crescent lunge, really feeling that weight shift into the front foot. So you can almost feel like you can lift all the way up to the toes on the back foot without losing your balance. And then you're gonna flow it up to that warrior three. So biceps by the ears, shifting those fingertips forward, balancing on that left foot. Those back toes are extended, pointing to the toes. And as we inhale here, we're gonna open up those arms to cactus. Exhale, we're gonna bring that right knee to meet the right elbow, slow and controlled. Good. And with the next breath, inhaling, extending out to your warrior three once again. Good. And then we're going to bring those left fingertips down towards the mat, sweeping the right fingertips up into the air, opening up to your half moon here, finding the balance. Clearly, I do not have a ton of that available to me today, and that's okay. <laughs> Option to bring the... <laughs> It's just not present and that's okay. Bringing your foot into a flex here to really emphasize that square of the hip down to the mat. And then we're gonna bring those right fingertips down, sweeping that left hand up into the air, revolved half moon, taking a slight bend even deeper in the left leg, tapping the back of the left calf with the right knee. So your Shiva squat. Just taking one cycle of breath here, you got it, inhale. Exhale, placing both palms down, sweeping that right leg up into the air, standing split, point through the toe. Good, good, good. Option to stay here or bend through that right knee. Feel like you're pulling your right heel towards your left glute and then reaching around with the left hand to grab the inner edge of that right foot. Right palm can stay planted or up on the fingertips or even up on a block here. Good, 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 inhaling. And exhale, big step back, bending through the front knee to your high lunge, balancing on the ball of the back foot, the right foot, holy moly! That was wild, we're gonna bring it down, cascade the arms down, frame the foot, step it back to your high plank, and then we're just gonna bring it down to the knees and chill it the heck out for a quick sec. So extending those arms out long, taking a quick moment to come back into the body and I want to leave a little extra time out here for our little funky yin flow series so that's why I keep looking at the time to make sure we do just that I want to leave for like 15 20 minutes for our little funky yin twist so we're gonna do just that but just taking a few moments to ground back in here Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Option to engage through that ujjayi breathing here. And if you're out of breath, you're probably gonna sound like a tiger trying to control your breath, and that is okay. It'll slow down. <laughs> Just noticing those parts of the body that are speaking to you. We did a lot of work through the quads, the hip flexors. So you are incredible. Awesome job following along, working your butt off, and just being here in this space. And with the next inhale here through the nose, and exhale out the mouth, we're going to come to make our way back onto all fours, wrist stack from our shoulders, knees, and their hips. And we're going to inhale here, and exhale, hover those knees off the mat a few inches here. Inhale, threading the heart back to the thigh. So this is like the, the low deep bend. We went to the medium, now we're back in the low. 
and then we're gonna inhale, extend to the legs, making it back into your downward facing dog. Dog, and then we pulled right knee to nose for that knee to nose variation, and then we walked the hands in two steps for this weird, funky hips pulled high up on the left toes, kind of weird, funky pike variation, and then we're gonna walk those hands back out. So just like normal, knee to nose, wrist stacked in her shoulders, and then you're gonna bring the left, the right knee to the right wrist, just like you're coming into a pigeon, but we're staying up off that back knee, sweeping the arms high, so that active pigeon variation. Good, good, good. Inhale here, create that length and that lift out of the hips and through the spine. And as we exhale, we're not gonna come down to a passive pigeon quite yet, but we're gonna plant those right palms down and we're gonna shift the weight up into those palms and then that back leg lifts off, pointing through the toe here. Good, so shifting both palms down. I know this is super crazy funky and your brain's like, girl. <laughs> Yeah, so both palms are down and then you're gonna kind of get a lift off through the back leg. So back leg is off the mat, pointing through the back toe. Good, and then we're gonna take 10 pulses here. Four, 10, nine, eight, seven, good. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna come to shift the weight back into the back foot, untuck through the toe, and then we're gonna release it all the way down to the hands for your full pigeon. And we're just gonna hang out here for about five full cycles of breath here. Coming into a little teensy lick of that yin kind of fusion. And the beauty about the yang versus what we just did, like really working through the power and the fire and the strength through those muscles, with yin, it's a little bit different. So as you hold a pose for longer, you're starting to not only work through the flexibility of your muscles, but working into that fascia and that deep, deep connective tissue. And the long you stay here and breathe into this movement and allow your breath to guide you deeper and deeper into this stretch and into this space, you can really create more length and strength out through that fascia. And fascia is basically like shrink wrap wrapped around all of your muscles and your bones holding everything together so when you can really create more space there your whole body just operates on a whole different level so just let's just stay here for one extra breath inhaling and deep releasing exhale let it go every inhale you create that Base for your body and then with every exhale you just tell your body it's okay I got this thank you for protecting me but I can go a little bit deeper or relax a little bit more into that space and it totally totally opens up so it's such a beautiful thing let's walk those hands back bring those wrists stacked underneath the shoulders tucking under through the back toe and we're just gonna tuck it back into that height plank and then flow it back, downward facing dog. And I hate to tell you, but we are gonna end in a frog for today. So cheers to that. So let's sweep the left leg high, three leg dog, point through the toes, and exhale, hover it over left knee to nose. Stacking shoulders over wrist to begin, and then we're just gonna walk those hands in a step so you're in this super deep pike variation of your knee to nose coming up, up, the, coming up off the heel, I almost said up off the toes, up off the heel onto the toes with that right side, and then we're gonna walk it in, walk it back those two steps, stacking the weight in the shoulders right over wrist, and then we're gonna bring left knee to left wrist, staying up off that back leg, sweeping arms high into your active pigeon. Good, creating that length and lift out of the hips and through the spine. And we're gonna bring it forward, bringing both palms down, spreading through the fingers. And then we're gonna shift the weight up into those palms, back leg and toe come off the mat. And we're gonna take these pulses here. Four, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shift the weight back, pop those back toes down, untuck the toe and releasing it all the way down to your left side pigeon. So really the goal of this little yin fusion was to do like these little pulses 
warm up for the muscle here and then release it into that yin just to give you a little bit of extra space to lengthen and strengthen out through that fascia and through that connective tissue. So coming into the body here, again, allowing those inhales to create that space for your body and the exhales to just send you and relax you deeper into that space. Allowing yourself to come deeper into your internal world here as we hold this for a little bit longer. Allowing whatever emotions need to come up to come up. Maybe it's anger, frustration, sadness. Yin can be really, really energetically straining and pretty emotional. So just allow what needs to come up to come up and allow it to move through and gently be released. Let's take one last breath here and then we'll end into your frog. Inhaling here and exhale, let it go. Slowly walking those hands, the wrist stack under shoulders once again, tucking under through the back toe, coming back to your high plank, and then flowing it back downward facing dog. Taking one last cleansing breath in this down dog as we inhale here and exhale, let it go. Slowly, slowly bringing it down to the knees here as we make our way into our frog. So we're gonna do the same variation here in our frog where we're gonna take those pulses and then we're gonna dive deep into a few cycles of breath. So remember with your frog, you're gonna bring your knees a step, like two big, maybe three big steps outside of hip distance. You're gonna bring the inner edges of the feet flat on the mat. You can bring it down, you can keep it up on the palms, but I feel like it's easier to get a teensy bit deeper here and bring it down to the elbows and you're gonna sink the weight back in the hips. So the hips are in line with the knees, the knees being like this center point for alignment and then the knees in line with the ankles. So we're gonna come from like the deepest point that you can access right now and you're gonna be able to get a little bit deeper as we hold it, but just coming to that first deep point that you can access and we're gonna go deep, kind of like halfway left out. Deep, halfway left out. And we're gonna do 10 pulses here for 10 and nine, only going to your edge, eight, and seven, six, and five, four, three, two, and one. And this time staying in that deepness, your edge, and just holding that edge. If you need to come a little bit out, that's okay too. Finding your edge, we're gonna take five, big cycles of breath here this frog being one of i personally believe deepest variations that you can come into in yin definitely one of the most energetically triggering and emotional so just honoring yourself as you're here and honoring your breath honoring the space you created for yourself Take one extra cycle of breath here. Inhale here and exhale slowly, slowly moving out. The way I like to move out of this frog is bringing myself all the way up and then slowly bring my hips down and then bring my knees in from here. And then just to get that kind of counter angle here and that counter movement, you can bring the knees together, bring the feet together and get this like backwards kind of window wipe here of the knees yeah and you can either come up to the elbows or if you want to bring it all the way down you'll be able to get a little bit deeper here as you sway those knees and those feet side to side so again just with yin two it's really crucial to always get that counter angle so if you get a hip opener you want to get a closed variation of that hip 
If you get a hamstring, you want to get a quad and so on. Yeah. You did awesome. Good. Good. Awesome. I love it. I love it. Let's just stack those wrists underneath those shoulders and you can ground down through the knees, ground down through the feet and just press it back up to your tabletop. And then we can just sit back on the hips. So hips to heels here, keeping those knees together after that deep hip opener. And let's just bring, yes, one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly. And let's just take one cycle of breath here to seal our practice, to seal this playful energy flow where we started with lots of yang, lots of power, fire, heat, and then we chilled it out with some kind of like a funky yin fusion. So cheers to you. I honor you for being in this space with me.